Okay, so once you need to re you read the scenario to say you're supposed to perform I irrigation, the first things first that you're supposed to do is go and get it, permission. So you're going to sanitize. After sanitizing, you're going to go to the patient. So after sanitizing, you go to the patient and introduce your cell. Okay, so you can get this chair and some of the so I'm saying after you sanitize, you go to the patient, you introduce him yourself. So you will reach good morning. I'm like social student number 38. I've been assigned to perform eye irrigation. The procedure that I will do to clean your eyes to prevent infection or to remove the scrap that is uh, in your eyes, depending on whether the patient has been treating with an infection or they're just cleaning it for. Uh, for Snellings charging test. Is there anything you want me to do for you around here before I proceed? No, thank you. I'll be back to do the procedure. You even need sanitize. And the next step is always assessing the patient. So you're going to don in your clean gloves. You go and assess the patient. There are gloves to expire in 2021, they are potent for use. Saturday when you come, we need to be prepared for the random stations. We just, we, I won't just mention this. I will mention any station that you have done it before. And I need to see how you get it up for me. So this is normal cell and it's coming in 2021. It's important for use. Syringe expiring in 2021 is important for you to use At this point, I have everything that I need to do this 
stations. So you're going to get your sanitizer and scrub as usual. You scrub all the way to the elbows. You dry your hands. The palm, the back, all the way to the elbow using this To use this same sort of normal saline for irrigation of the eyes, like you want to remove whatever things are in the eyes before you clean. So, sir, mm -hmm. if you use the same normal saline, mm -hmm. looking at those parts, can today be regular doctor or goma or goma? So, you can even withdraw the the normal saline first with the new swab, then you make the swab work. Well. But you say this is the only remove, uh, those comes out when they are dry, but when they are wet they don't come out. So at this point you are going to divide yourself and get the ceiling and pass it on to this. Uh, then you are going to get um, a swab which is going to help you with opening of the eye if I tell the patient's eye is closed. So when you get the sterile swab, you are going to position it on top of the eye of the furthest thing. Uh, so you are going to start from your furthest to your closest. So you put a swab there and it's going to help you to open the eyelid and also tell the patient you can turn your head to your left or you push the patient's head a bit using while you're holding on the swab. So let me use the other eye. So in this manner, we are going to tell you turn the patient the other side like that if you're using this eye. So you don't cross your hands like this, but you find a way of not ensuring that you don't cross your hands. So like that. Since this patient is active, we can even tell them to move the head a bit to them. Yeah. Then you're going to pour the normal saline from in of the eye coming outside like that. Then you also do the same to the other eye. You pour away from in of the eye. So in the other side, I'm also doing the same. Like this. So once you are, you are done, you let go of this hand and you discard it. They need you in the proceedings in the sharp thing, box. Then you're going to get your first swab. You pass it on to this hand. Then you're going to start with the, the furthest eye as usual. So for the sake of you to see, you can start with the furthest eye. You wipe it from in, out. You let go, you discard. Then you get the second one, you wipe again from in out like that. Then the third one, you can just wipe on top, not the, the eyelid, you're wiping the, what do you, the skin inside the eye, but not the eye for itself. Mm -hmm. So you can wipe the upper part of the to discard. Then the fourth swab you can use it to the other eye. So you come to the other eye, you do the same. You wipe in, out, you let go, you discard. You get the last one, you also wipe in, in, out.
then you can get the same swab. At this point, your steroid is even done. So you get the same swab, the same goals rather, and but dry I like that. Then you can even turn it and but dry the other eye in that mark. So uh, eye irrigation is a simple supportive <coughs> general procedure, but that is how you are supposed to do it. So the five swabs should be enough for both things. And the principle is that, is that just start from the furthest eye, you come to the closest eye, and you're using the gauze to be opening the eye with like that, so that you're able to swab nicely from in out. Not the other way, because you'll be taking the dirty back inside the eye. Any question? Any question on eye the, irrigation? The six swabs, you swab with the six is two, two, then the other two, two, two. So the, the other one, I just used it to wipe the eyes, the upper eye. So if you want, you can have six, but the major part you are cleaning is the down part, in, out, in, out. Then if you want to clean also the upper eye, meaning mean prepare six swabs. One, you use it on the upper part and on the other side on the upper part, meaning each eye will get three swabs. So the principle is the same for cold care, catheter care, uh, IV care, and other cares. The principle is the same. It's clear. No right. Thank you.